The main challenge is about being sustainable and uh, having a sustainable business are usually two things. First of all, that your, your customer may be asking for something and you're not quite sure how to deliver that. You're not maybe sure what they want or if you've got what will fit or um, what the criteria are, how you're going to measure it, how you're going to make sure it happens, that type of thing. And the other problem is that there is so much information about it. Um, everybody is talking about sustainability. And actually there's too much information and it's quite difficult to sort of cut through it and to get through to the facts and the reality and the, the important stuff. There are a lot of new products these days that are created from waste and it seems like a very good thing. It, you know, to use up waste products sounds great. But I always say to my students, just think about the waste and what would happen to it in the environment as, as it is. So for instance, oyster shells is a waste product. It's a waste product from the food industry. Um, and you can make it into a textile. But the, the problem I have with it, and the thing I want my students to think about, is once you've combined those oyster shells with a polymer, a synthetic polymer, then yes, it becomes a textile, and yes, you've used the waste product, but you have created something that's not biodegradable. Um, whereas seashells are biodegradable. They, they may be waste, but they don't do any harm in the environment. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that fibre, but you just have to bear in mind what you are using. So hopefully that, that's what comes out of my course, if we try and get through all that greenwashing and all that hype, etc. and sort of get through to the stuff that really matters. Start asking the right questions and, and sort of helping you to ask the right questions.